So the hottest thing in the culinary world is obviously food trucks, right? But the dish that really started the food truck trend was the Korean taco. So I'm gonna show you how to make a Korean taco at home so you don't have to wait three hours in line at a food truck with hipsters with tight pants. So come on into my kitchen and I'm gonna show you the perfect Korean mashup taco. Making the Korean sauce is simple. We're gonna start with a little bit of brown sugar. To that we're gonna add soy sauce, sesame oil, and the secret to this really is something called kochujang. So with all the ingredients in it, we stir really well until it's completely together. You need a Dutch oven because it has to start in the stove and then finish in the oven. So a nice enamelized or just cast iron Dutch oven. Heat that up really hot, put a little oil in it, and we're gonna start with the short ribs. You're gonna dredge some short ribs in a little bit of flour. Flour will do two things. It helps absorb any extra moisture, which will help brown the ribs, and it'll also activate with the liquid and give you a nice gravy texture. So after the ribs are well browned, you wanna make sure they're browned all the way around. Remove them from the pan. Keeping the pan hot, you're gonna add mirepoix, which is basically celery, carrots, onions. So it really doesn't matter how big or little they are, because all they're gonna do is kind of release their flavor and blend right into the sauce, and they're gonna get tossed away anyway. Once your mirepoix and vegetables are nice and caramelized, I want you to add the ribs back into the pot. From here, you're going to deglaze. Deglazing is a really fancy word for pouring red wine into the pan, and what that red wine does with the heat is to pull off any of those bits of beef, vegetables that are stuck to the pan, which will now blend right back in and make a really nice kind of gravy or pan sauce. So the wine has to reduce by at least half, because what we want is the flavor of the wine, but not necessarily the alcohol. Once the wine is reduced by half, it's time to add beef stock. And any beef stock's fine. The stuff from the box, you can make it yourself. As long as it's beef stock, it's the right way to go. So what this beef broth is gonna do is actually create a really nice moist environment to braise these ribs, and that's gonna break them down and make them super tender. Nice tight fitting lid. This is gonna go into a 325 degree oven for about three hours. So once the ribs are done braising, pull them out, and this is where you're gonna chop the meat up. When I say chop, don't completely chop the meat into little bits. It's more like taking the knife and pulling it apart, like kind of barbecue style, because you don't want to chop the meat into tiny little bits. You want them nice and luscious, and you want to see the strands of all that perfectly braised beef. With the short rib that you just pulled apart and chopped, you're gonna marry that now in a hot pan with a little bit of shaved Brussels sprouts. So heat up a pan, drizzle a little oil in it, and I want you to saute together the short rib meat, the Brussels sprouts, and the onions. You don't need a lot of seasoning here, just a little bit of salt and pepper to kind of lift up all those flavors together. While I'm sauteing the short rib, I have another pan going at the same time, a dry hot pan, to basically just cook off the tortillas. So to assemble our mashup Korean tacos, you've got the tortillas, you've got your short rib meat that's got the Brussels sprouts and onions, and we've got our Korean salsa. I want you to lay two tortillas next to each other with the edges touching. I want you to spoon in a little of the short rib meat right into the middle, finish with a little of the Korean salsa, cilantro, a squeeze of lime, and you're good to go. You've got the fusion Korean truck taco at home without waiting.